Hey, this is Colio, Plants Wicked in 3. Uh, currently in the process of leveling everybody up, and uh, speaking of which, I've leveled a couple people up. So, getting ready to swap them out, but we'll take a look at them. <laughs> I think most of these, their skills are already pretty much maxed. Uh, she's got the Platino, the Tempesta. She's got the free skill. Yeah, not a lot to talk about. Koichi, I'm not done with yet. He's still got a couple more things to max out. Vicky's done, and other Vicky. They're basically the same, though. I do notice that uh, Big Vicky has more magic resistance. That's kind of odd. <laughs> They're both uh, really good at blinking magic, though, which makes sense. And they do have different wands. The Wow Wow Wand and the D5 Wand. Hmm. Yep, but... Okay, I'm gonna get new people now. So, we want Samus. We done Ace. Leo, Beecham, that'll be kind of a new one, and uh, Percival, alright. So Samus just needs to level a couple. Leo's got a couple things to learn. Fighting Spirit, Adrenaline Power. Uh, Beachum is going to have a long way to go, but he's got a lot of skill points to start with. That's good. A couple open slots. And Percival won't take too long either. It's a good thing about a lot of these characters. I don't have to spend too much time on them, which is good. has guys. I wonder if he levels up if he'll be able to equip a uh, Firefly. I'm still looking for people who would work well with the Firefly and I think a lot of the Knights might be able to do it because they wear heavy armor. Um, so I got lots of money. Yeah, uh... Just gonna be training these guys up. We'll get to see them in combat here in a second. And actually, I forgot. Um, we never actually took a look at Beecham. He's like a new character that we haven't been able to use before. So, an old soldier who assists the Karaya chief Lucia. He possesses superior fighting capabilities despite his age. I think he's got just the normal Karaya fighter kind of animations. I still haven't found the golden hammer. I keep looking for it. it. Ain't happened yet. There we go. All of them's maxed out. Samus has the Fiamma. Leo has a horn, even though it's still an axe, right? Uh, Beecham has the Klon Sulagon. And Percival has the Zukunft. Or whatever. <laughs> I can't. These words. Alright, I'm going to go look at Kid and see what he's come back up with. Uh, it's a wise griffin. There are rumors that he understands human language. Huh. Where's the next dog at? Well, we'll find out soon. <laughs> uh, to the suggestion box. Special training. Want to be strong? Then come and get special training with us. Cool. Uh, Dad's job has gotten underway. I hope it continues like that. Hugo, why don't you become a member of the Maximilian Knights? If you'd like, you could belong to two groups. Thomas gave me an empty room to share for research. I can do research. I've never done. Thank you, Hugo. He gave you an empty room to use for research. That, of course, 
Does not mean she's moved. She's still in here, yeah. I gotta visit her anyway. Yep. Well, this isn't exactly an empty room. I don't know where it is. So he's got water magic, and that works out pretty well for him. Magic resist is always good. But I'll probably save that last slot for another physical skill. Pretty much it. Level these up. And then all I have to do is visit the, uh, visit Juan to finish the other characters out. Okay, back in the Flame Champ hideaway. Get to see some combat with these guys. Uh, they're all people we've seen before besides Beecham. I wonder if he's got any formation attacks with anyone. Maybe Ayla. I can't think of any other crimes I have, though. There's Lucia, but she's not in the group. I can't use her yet. Okay, nothing here. He's got that gauze. I get rid of that if I can. Uh, if I can swap it for Firefly, I might do that. Because I think he'll be a good person to put that on. And that's pretty much it. Just normal attacks. Heck, he might not even get an attack. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, just a normal guy. Nothing too crazy about Beach Jim. I still do love the music in here. Hugo's still getting stronger, I think. He's still at 56, isn't he? Oh, speak of the devil, no, he's at 58. Wow, yeah. So, being the only character that's not changed out, <laughs> he's grown quite a bit. Uh... At almost max skill points. I think when his skill points max out, I'm going to go and look at all of his skills and see just what he's good at and show them all off. Yeah, well, I'm just going to keep training these guys up, though. Nothing new. All right, I finished two people. Um, what is it? Samus is done. And Percival is pretty much done. All their skills are maxed. Their weapons maxed. Level 52 is plenty enough. So I'm going to swap them out. So Boris and Queen works for me. See how they're looking. Boris is pretty much done. He just needs some levels. Queen, same thing. So they'll probably be done when the others are done. Hopefully. Okay. Back in the tavern. Uh, everybody's done. <laughs> Except for Leo. Leo's got a little more to go. He's going to have an S and a drilling power as well. Pretty cool. Lots of S's on board. Uh, not Boris, on Leo. But the others are done. Uh, Boris, the Dre, Beecham, Queen. Got them good in, uh, good armors and stuff. Gonna swap them out. Oh, and the dog's finally done. I've had the dog for so long. <laughs> I 
Okay. Jax. Joker. Which has already been finished, yeah? He was the first group I did. And Sheba was part of that. I did Bazba too, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. That's good. I skipped a couple there. Ayame needs to be done. And Watari. Oh, yeah, he's way behind now. So Jax has got one open spot. Joker just needs levels. Ayame, pretty close. Watari, I figure he needs some levels. He might have uh, learn some new skills. All right, well, um, let's go to suggestion box, seeing as we're close. Let's see what people are talking about. Receive no suggestions, probably. What's up? Hi, what's up? I'm fine, of course. When you have time, let's arm wrestle. See ya. <clears throat> it's nice to go fishing all day at the lake. How about going together sometime? Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to go check out Kid. He's somewhere on Mount Sinai looking for Connie. Mount Sinai, so he's actually... Okay. Kosanji. So I guess that when I get around to Connie, I'll go look for him. Who was I working on? Fubar. All right, and we're back. Uh, this party is done. Let's see, what is new? Jax has now got a double striker in, which is going to double his damage, but also double the damage he receives. Um, gives him a lot of damage. He'll do like a thousand per auto normal attack. It's pretty good. Uh, he's got the great bow gun. Um, Leo, I gave the Firefly Ruin instead of Gauze. He's got all of his good skills, the horn. <laughs> um, Joker, I don't think he's changed much, but he does have the Pellgate magic. Um, but n he doesn't have the Ruin slot for it either. I guess maybe he'll learn that eventually, or it'll open up, but it's 53, he still doesn't have it. But he's only a B in it too, I've seen better. Um, what else? Ayami, she's got Spring Gale, an S in Repel, and Holy Dash. Not too bad. And Watari. I actually like Watari a lot, even though, I don't know. It's kind of sad, actually. He doesn't have great skills. He's got the S in Counter, counter Attack, Swing, Accuracy, Repel. He's got the Head Ruin open. Um... I don't know if he can use Pellgate, but I assume he could. I haven't seen anything else that's exclusively a head run. But he doesn't have a skill for it either, and it would be pretty useless to put Pellgate on somebody who uh, wouldn't be able to cast it for like three turns. So, I don't know. I'm kind of at ends with Watari. I like him as a character, even though he doesn't use his sword. I'd like to use him, but he just kind of falls shy of other characters. He doesn't really live up yet. Yeah, maybe if he gets higher level, but I mean, he's already level 53 and he still seems to have a way to go. He's got the heavenly sword, but that's all of them. I'm going to be sure to put Jax in a party with somebody with a, a Firefly Ruin so that he doesn't get targeted in them overland, overworld strategic battles, but he's going to do a lot of damage when he's behind somebody like Leo, um, who's doing a lot of tanking for him. Oh, oops. I thought I was in the menu, but I was actually going to remove these guys. Swap them out for somebody new. Do 
Okay, so the last one was Atari. That means we're on Melville. Now, I did Melville for a while, but he's still level 46, so he needs some training. We have Alanis. She needs a lot. Uh, I wonder how good Alanis gets. I mean, she's a mage. Now, Wilder and Rhett we did. We've got Nash. And Belle. I used her. If I'm going to get Belle, then I might as well get Gadget Z as well. So I'll skip to Gadget Z and put those two together. There we go. Let's adjust this formation a bit. I want uh, Nash with me, Melville and Alanis together because they got the child uh, formation attack. I forget what that's like. We've seen it, but it's been a while. It was like Hugo's first chapter. Okay, uh, we'll look at the suggestion box and we'll go talk to Kid. I could also show off a few extra things I've picked up. Nothing big. I got this bonsai tree somewhere, and seeing as it was different, uh, I just replaced a plant vase or something with it. So I think I've got one of every figurine placed around the house. I've definitely got one of every painting that I know of, though there seems to be two that are repeated. So maybe there's another painting I haven't found yet. All right, new letter. Hello. Hello, Thomas. It's a nice castle. Huh. It's not proper to bear ruins blindly. You can show your true ability when you bear a ruin that suits you. A sergeant gave me a list for special training. 200 squats in the morning. I'll lose my bottom feathers. Now, about my food. If you let it sit, it'll go bad. Please eat it quickly. Hmm. What if there's a new newsletter? No, same one. Alright, another thing that I picked up. I've got this knight statue and a peeing boy <laughs> and I think we're done with the statues I've got everything I guess the only thing that there would be we've got the goddess uh, S statue the hex S statue I've, obviously this is the uh, knight S statue I don't know if there's a peeing boy S statue there's Connie But, yeah, I'm just selling on things now. I haven't found anything new. I've got in here a Premier cask. Yeah, I'm going to put that on somebody. Good. Fine cast, just take it out and sell it. Okay. Uh, what about the guardian shield? Nope. I don't think any of this. Like, I, I don't know about these uh, guardian things. Like, they're slightly under what I've got, but because they're part of a set, if I put them all together, I've only got three pieces. I, I don't know if that's all of it. But if I put them all together, maybe it'll give me a good bonus. I definitely don't have any of the other ones, or at least the full set. Guardian's the only one I'm close to. Sword of Thunder, Pellgate, Firefly, uh, none of which this party seems to want to use. Sword of Thunder, Melville might be able to use that kind of thing. Wizard would be good on Alanis if I can get it on her. So I'm going to take it out. Okay, that's all I wanted to do with that. Continue going down.
He and Halleck were shouting at one another. I thought they were fighting, but they seemed to really hit it, hit it off. He and Halleck. Huh. That's the big dude, right? With the two axes? <laughs> I assume it is. Is his name Halleck? I should have a clean inventory, right? Uh, for the most part. Oh yeah, I got another cask I should equip to somebody. Still don't know if I'm saying that word right. I should really look that up. How often I use it. I'll put it on Bell. I've actually got two wizards in my inventory. Two wizard runes. Gadget Z uses... Madison, and that's it. He's like an animal. I guess... Ah, nah, screw it. I was thinking about taking that stuff out of the farm and just putting it on Gadget Z, but... Whatever. So Nash, continual attack. He's got wind magic. He doesn't have much to go, just a couple levels. This will probably top him off here. Melville, he's got a while to go. She quite a bit of training on him. Hmm. And same thing with Atlantis. I'll probably have these two characters for a while. She's got shield magic, water magic. So as soon as she opens a ruin, I want to put a shield on her probably. <laughs> magic resistance. And then, hmm. Holy dash. Maybe armor protect as well. I don't see any of the other magic ones being worthwhile. So probably these two, yeah. But she doesn't have any points, so it doesn't matter. That's what I'll go with eventually. Uh, fire magic. She's got Comet. I don't know if Comet is fire magic. Holy Dash. He's average at the other things. Well, at most she'll probably just have magic resistance and one of these other ones. Which I think will be armor protect. It's just Always good. A little more defense. Lots of physical skills. Armor protect, yeah, he's at 42. A little better than average. And probably magic resist on him as well. For that last skill. He's actually got no other physical skills available. They're all selected. Kind of cool. Yeah, this whole group seems to need a lot of training, besides Nash. Probably be on them for a while. Actually, I'm going to hold off on this forging. There's something else I wanted to do, and I want to do it before this episode ends, so we might as well do it real quick. We're going to look at all of Hugo's skills. Because I've got, like, over 10,000 skill points, I can do whatever I want with them now. So, Hugo, 
these will not be changed out. A in heavy damage, B plus in counter attack, B plus in continual attack, and B plus in parry. Now he's got an A in swing, A in accuracy, S in repel, and B in fire magic. All of these I really like. Um, but we're going to just go ahead and look at all of his other ones and see how he ranks with those. And I'm going to skip through them real quick so it'll be easy for you to uh, tell the difference between them. Alright, so he's also got in damage, it goes up to a B. Armor protect, he can go up to a C. Holy dash, he goes to a B plus. And sword of magic up to a B. And his other skills, he has a C in water magic. A B plus in wind magic, B plus in earth magic, and a B in lightning magic. And one more, a B in magic resistance. So, in order from best to worst, his top four skills are repel with an S, uh, swing and accuracy with A's, and then I guess then a tie would be uh, at a B plus would be Holy Dash, Wind and Earth. Hmm. So, I don't think I'm going to change much then as far as what his skills were. I don't know, I'm considering getting rid of accuracy for something else. But I would say Swing is a really good one. Repel is a really good one as a defensive skill. If I swapped out accuracy, I'm, I definitely want fire magic because I put the true fire run on him. So that's three. The last one would be not holy dash. Definitely not other types of magic. So a magic resist at B. Uh, armor at C. That sucks. Damage at B. Like I would sw swap an accuracy of A for damage B or... Magic Resistance B. Is that worth it though? Like the accuracy might still be a good idea. Magic Resistance isn't a bad deal though. The extra damage would be nice. Because he already does like a lot of attacks. If his attacks could uh, do even bigger crits and stuff, like on top of his he heavy damage ability, which is raised chance of inflicting heavy damage. Could be pretty good for just dealing a lot of damage. So, accuracy or damage? Raises accuracy, overcomes foe's defenses. Raises damage of successful direct attack. You know, I'm just gonna... Because I'm training right now, I'm just gonna try out damage. And, um... If I notice myself missing a lot more, or, like, getting blocked a lot more, then I'll swap back to accuracy. But I've got enough skill points, I got some time. Um... Pretty controlled environment to test which one I like the most. But maybe... Even though damage is a rank lower, or two ranks lower because of B+. But um, maybe that'll add some more damage compared to accuracy. That on top of heavy damage is continual attack and swing. I hope he'll be doing a ton of damage in battle. Alright, well anyway, I'll end the episode with that. <laughs> Took a look at Hugo. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Later.